welcome to all myself professor deshmukh ms going to present the theory lectures on dynamic of machinery having unit number 5 that is measurement of vibrations so the vibration measurement is a typically depends upon expected range of the frequency and the, their amplitudes then again so what is the size of machine or structure are involved or available then conditions of operations of the machines or you can say the structure again the typical data that we have to processing during their use now this is some uh, simple block diagrams that you have to follow during the data analysis or against the vibration measurement at the start we are having some operating system or the structure then again uh, we have to provide some transistor or the pickup that is this is one kind of sensor we are available then again whatever the senses are available that you have to convert by means of the signal conversion instrument then again it will be a displayed or recorder by means of the uh, display or you can see the computer and after the data we are gather this can be analyzed means of means by means of the data analysis now why there is a measure uh, measurement of the vibration are required because of to detect the shift omega n which indicate the possible failures so you have to uh, find out the uh, the frequency of vibrations in order to predict either this is a safe or unsafe the systems then again the select the operation speed in order to avoid the resonance so resonance is what it is the what are the force frequency and the natural frequency is being same under that situation the resonance is occur and what is the effect of resonance the system vibrates with the high amplitude so in order to avoid it we have to select the operation speed then again measure the value of the different from the theoretical values so we have to measure the the practical values and compare with the theoretical values then again to design the active uh, vibrations uh, isolation systems so again Uh, these are the method in order to minimize the vibrations that is the vibration isolation method so for that particular design you have to measure the vibrations again to identify the mass stiffness and the damping of the systems okay again at the last that is to verify the approximated uh, motions so these are the needs so now what are the types of vibration testing are available that is being first one that is a modal testing in that you have to measure the natural frequency damping and the mode shifts while in the case of the second that is operational testing in service stored you have to often it is in the random conditions now some equipmental mode testing are available this is quite a uh, useful method uh, it is a uh, being used of our analytic method to date to date interpret the vibration measurement and also the standard skills are used uh in the industry by means of this equipmental model testing now some uh, this graph is showing here or like i said the diagram is showing here the the four wheeler having the the springs are available at the shock observer uh the, that is the suspension system we can say that some accelerometer which is attached to the uh, the chassis you know load to oscillations to measure the oscillation of the amplitude or acceleration we can say that and uh, it is major uh, the oscillation is given by means of the exciter or you can say the shaker that is uh, we can say the external force ft there again it is will be goes to the spectrum that is fft analyzer where it is being measured okay and it will be sent to the signal conditioner or you can say the power amplifier which shows that some amplification of the parameters that is the velocity and it will be uh, analyzed at the computer that is acquired data or the stored the frequency response functions so data will be stored and so it will be analyzed at the computers now the what is the mechanical exciters now the max the use of unbalance created by some two masses so these are the two masses that is m1 and m2 because of these two unbalanced masses unbalance the forces which is acting on it that is unbalanced centrifugal force Uh, having the load 250 newton to 25 uh, kilo newton so whatever the the external forces are available to 
m r omega square cos omega t okay so these are the hoses are available now what are the maintenance techniques of the machines first that is preventive second is what conditional ways preventing means what we have to prevent the uh, the failure or i can say the degradation of your machines so maintain perform at the fixed interval so this is the technique the interval is determined by means of the statistically from the past experience and this is the uneconomical uh, the methods for the machine maintenance technique again second that is condition based or we can say the predictive maintenance so replacements of the fixed interval overhaul with the fixed interval measurement so we have to predict these situations and from that situations we have to uh, maintain the machines so can extrapolatory me measured vibrations level and also predict when they are reach to the unacceptable values now the what is the condition monetary techniques are available that is ural uh, visual okay that is ural visual then operational uh, variables temperature wear debris and the vibrations means what ural means what there is audio visual by means of the videos or seen operational variables means what the the parameters temperature also is there wear debris that is the frictions or the wear and the vibrations so these are the different the parameters for the condition monitoring technique from that values we have got some idea about the condition of the machines now this is the vibration uh, monitoring techniques where it is it is a time domain two type that is time domain and frequency domain with the time how your uh, the parameters of vibrations will be varies from that we predict the condition of your the machines or can say the systems so look at this here gearbox pinion is coupled to the 2685 rpm motors and the period of the form as with the period of the pinions are being plotted some accelerations with the time that we are being seen some fluctuation that fluctuations will be seen that there is amplitude or vibrating the variations is done during that vibrations and it implies the broken of the gear on the pinions now what is the relations between the machine component and the vibration spectrum okay it's quite simpler one each rotating element generates the in identical uh, frequency okay some booster motor are there some bearings are there with that bearing uh, the response you have to measure with the frequency or you can say the amplitude so at the initial case we are got some amplitude okay so but beyond that it will go some rise in the uh, the amplitude which shows that some will be the vibration impact on the systems so this is about the relations